You know, Cindy, this week's cover, as I read it, is very much almost an open wish list slash sort of letter to the government because we are in the midst of COVID-19. The economy probably, you know, as people try to survive is not what most people are thinking about, but we have to think about it. What exactly are we asking the government to do in this letter? Okay. Um, some of the comments that came back was, are, are you saying that the government isn't decisive enough? Um, right. Well, that's not what we're getting at. Okay. Uh, what we're saying is, um, if you are thinking whether or not to bring out the big guns, we're saying yes. Yeah, it's not time to hesitate and wring your hands and clutch your pearls yeah. kind of thing, right? You, yeah, you, you're familiar with the saying, um, if the world, or oh, if China sneezes, the world catches a cold. Yeah, and then as we were saying, what happens when China gets influenza? Yes. So, and the world is about to find out, and we just have to be prepared um, for the worst. I mean, we're not saying that the worst will come, but we have mm. to be prepared. I think that's a very, I think that's very fair because already you see so many think pieces about how the rest of the world is going to survive when China tries to survive. It's a great test of their leadership and how they're trying to keep their economy intact. It was already sort of uh, dealing with that trade war that, that came across. So in order to combat this, what actually are we maybe suggesting we can do? Because that whole, the GDP coming in lower, it's not a good sign. And then after that, BNM cuts its rates. Although we were saying it, people did expect it to happen in the first quarter, did many expect it happening so soon? Uh, yes, the rate cut, um, which uh, Bank Negara said was preventive in uh, January, and people did think was preventive at that point. Yeah. There was suspicion that um, because it came in January instead of March, um, that fourth quarter numbers would be worse than expected. Mm. And most people were expecting numbers at 4 cent, but it actually came down to 3.6, which is um, which meant that uh, Bank Negara's range of um, 4.3 to 4.8 would have was barely met. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. for the year. Yeah. So um, there is a situation here. Of, of course, um, the central bank governor did say that it was because of some supply disruption. Uh, and without without which um, the economy would have grown a lot more a lot stronger than than what it did. Uh, but even she said it's it's very tough uh, to predict um, at this moment um, what the first quarter numbers would look like. And economists, uh, of course, have turned uh, some of them have turned really bearish. And the worst, the most bearish prediction was one point nine percent in January. Oh, sorry, uh, for the first quarter. Mm. Uh, that's, that's as of now. And um, there's, there are at least three who think that um, first quarter numbers uh, growth will be slower than 3.6 in the fourth quarter. So um, I guess the first, what we're saying is there are people, of course, if you go to the malls, you, you still see um, people, people are still spending, people are still eating, people are still in the cinema. But you've there are people who are avoiding these crowded spaces. Yes. And some companies are um, are already openly telling the government that they are affected. They're hurting, and, aren't they? Yes. And you, we know there are people who have uh, gotten letters um, of companies asking them to accept a low a pay cut. And that would actually um, hamper consumption. So, and, and it's, it's coming at a bad time because around, uh, this is around the time companies decide on bonuses, annual bonuses and increment. And that actually um, helps um, in terms of spending. So if that number is not coming, um, I guess confidence needs to be uh, propped up somehow. And um, this is where the government can step in um, to help show up confidence. Well, the government has made a big announcement that there's going to be a stimulus mm -hmm. announcement on February 27th. In this stimulus announcement, you know, writing it on the wall, what are we hoping that the government will do? Because we did lay out some things in the wish list. Mm -hmm. What are we hoping? I think it's, um, we, we are hoping that uh, the government will do uh, at least two things. Um, first um, is measures uh, that would help people who are feeling an, uh, insecure about um, their income to have some form of comfort level that they are able to say, uh, to think to themselves, it, it's okay. And there will be measures, um, if, if they're worried, there will be measures to help them. Mm. And uh, for businesses as well, because uh, 
then um, if if they, they we're already seeing help. Um, bank Negara has already nudged the banks, and um, some of the banks have voluntarily actually come out to have a six months moratorium on um, bank loan payments. Mm. So that that actually helps because um, if companies um, are facing cash flow problems, if they can defer those those loans um, for at least six months, it, it could tide them over. At least, yeah, at, at least, least at least. Because um, I think we are preparing for about six months of disruption. Um, of course, um, some people think that we should prepare for longer, but six months is, is something that we are working with right now. Mm. And while we work for a longer term plan. And of course, um, I think if we take a leave uh, from what Singapore said about the budget, companies should also take this downtime um, as to invest in, in people. Of course, you need confidence to invest in people to do training. Uh, as, as some of some people, some colleagues, uh, they, they are quarantined um, at home. Yeah, they call it the world's biggest work at home experiment, actually, yes. at this point. Yeah, so uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's something that um, all companies can actually take the opportunity to learn from because um, we, we have talked about um, allowing more flexible hours, uh, people working from home, but a lot of companies uh, are still stuck with the, old the kind of old mentality. So this uh, could well be an experiment that, I mean, a chance to actually test out um, some of the ways you can allow people to work from home. For more on the stories, pick up a copy of The Edge Weekly at all good newsstands.